Welcome to the Nashville Zoo. Today we're going to have a look at large mammal photography and we're actually going to look at elephants, at tapirs, at giant anteaters and at giraffes. And we're also going to have a look at our little nine months old baby giraffe, Sita. And now we're going to have a look at elephants. Elephants for me are called an LGA, a large grey animal. So it's very difficult to take pictures with because their texture, especially if the light's not good, really disappears. So what we're going to do here is we're going to watch the elephants having their shower, which makes for beautiful pictures and beautiful texture on the animal. And as you can see here, this actually makes for very interesting pictures. As soon as the animal is wet, you get some texture, you get some water splashing. So whenever, even in the wild, you have an animal's bathing, it makes for interesting pictures. Here is another LGA, a large grey animal. That's a Bayard's tapir, and that's the largest mammal in South America. The left is actually the female. Her name is Houston. She's the mom. And in front is little Noah. And Noah is almost grown now. He was actually born on the day of the big floods here in Nashville in 2010. These Bayard's tapirs are part of a special survival plan, and they're actually an interesting animal. Their closest relatives are horses and rhinoceros. I'm Lauren Revens. I'm the nation's only full-time giant anteater keeper and I work here at the Nashville Zoo. Now we're going to have a look at giant anteaters. These guys are from South America. They can eat up to 30,000 insects a day in the wild and we're going to take pictures of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera to center point focusing only so we're in control. And we're also going to put the camera on continuous focus so when you press the shutter button it continuously refocuses because these animals are moving. So let me try to get some good shots. And this time we're shooting from the exhibit, so we have to be very careful not to get too close, keep our distance and make sure that the animals um, are well kept over there. The National Zoo is actually very successful in anteater breeding and it holds the largest um, collections of anteaters in the world in captivity. Hi, my name is Kate Meinhardt and I am the giraffe keeper here at the Nashville Zoo. Now we're in the giraffe barn and today we're going to have a look at the large, tallest land mammal on earth. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up our camera properly to white balance automatic. We're going to put the metering mode on center weighted, aperture controlled and we're going to open the aperture full. So let's try that and get some good shots. Front is great. <laughs> How about side my dear? Come on, turn a bit more. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have a look at our small baby giraffe. She was born in November last year, so she's now nine months old. And I'm going to take some headshots of her, which we do every week. This is little Zita when she was three days old, and this is the picture we took today. Now we're going to have a look at the giraffes on their outside exhibit. And it's important that you set your white balance to shade. It gives you nice and warm pictures of animals outside. And that's true for any condition, if it's sunny or if it's shady. White balance to shade and you get very warm and good looking pictures. What you can see here is I'm actually on eye level without actually going any further down because the giraffe's right up here at the wall. And we're going to tease him a bit with long and there goes the long neck of the giraffe. We had a good time today at the Nashville Zoo taking pictures of mammals. Come yourself and get your old mammal pictures at the Nashville Zoo.